Okay, so we're going to solve equations with what's called an ordered triple, x, y, and z, because there is a z axis when you were doing the three dimensional item. Um, so x, y, and z. So that means we're going to have three equations. You're going to either use substitution or elimination or a combination of both. Okay, so if you know how to do substitution and elimination, then you should be able to do this. On some of our quizzes, we struggled with substitution and elimination. Some of us did, so we need to get better at it. Um, so we're going to look at how we do this. When we do this, we're going to focus on two equations at one time, and then we're going to do two more equations, and then we're going to get it down so that you can keep eliminating. This will take time. Okay, There's no like quick way around it. But when you get a solution, you're going to get an answer that is called an order triple, and it's going to be written as x, y, and z. So one, three, seven, or whatever your answers are. Okay. Uh, this is just an example of some stuff. Um, so basically, if you have exactly one solution, the planes, if you have three planes, they intersect at, at exactly one point. If you have infinite solutions, that means that three planes intersect at what is considered a line. And if you have no solutions, then that means the three planes intersect or don't intersect um, where they all cross at one point or in a line. So you can have no solution, you can have infinite solutions, or you can have exactly one solution, okay? And if it was an infinite solution, that means the planes intersect at a line. If it's one solution, they intersect at a point. And if it's no solution, the three planes do not intersect. That's what this So the way we're going to do this, you, there are three steps. First, you have to rewrite the linear systems and the three variables as a linear system variable by using the elimination method. So you're going to start with elimination. Then you have to solve the new linear systems for both of its variables. Then you have to substitute the values in from step two into one of the original equations, one of the original equations, and then solve for the remaining variables. Okay? So, if I have 4x plus 2y plus 3z equals 1, 2x minus 3y plus 5z equals negative 14, and 6x minus y plus 4z equals negative 1. I need to focus on two equations at a time. Okay? What two equations would you like to focus on here? Is there any way I could multiply one of the equations by something so that they'll have something cancel out between two of them? What? Yes, what? Five. Two and three. No, what, okay, I need you to be more clear. What do you mean? You can multiply four into five into four. Okay, I could do that. Okay, I could do that. Um, what I noticed is that y has a, the bottom equation has a negative y with it, right, which just has a one in front. So if I eliminate the y's, it might be easier because I only have to multiply one equation. If I multiply that bottom equation by two, I can eliminate the y with the top and bottom one, yes? Okay. So if I take this, I'm gonna make this one red. If I take this and multiply it by two, I end up getting, um, 12x minus 2y plus 8z equals uh, negative 2, yes? And then if I just copy this equation down, 4x plus 2y plus 3z equals 1, and if I add those together, you end up getting uh, 12 and 4 is 16x, right? And I get 8z and 3z, 11z, and then I get uh, negative 2 and 1, which is negative 1. Okay, I'm going to pause there and come back to this equation in a minute, because now I need to use this second equation and this third equation, okay, so that I can do elimination of y's again. So now if I multiply this bottom equation by negative 3, okay, I'm going to get 
negative 18x, I'm going to get positive 3y. I'm going to get negative 12y, and I'm going to get positive 3, right? And then I had 2x, negative 3y, plus 5z, equals negative 14. If I add those together, okay, I'm going to end up getting negative 16x, yeah? Those cancel, and I'm going to get negative 7y, and I'm going to get um, negative 11, correct? broken it down so that there's only x's and z's left, yes? I'm going to take this equation and this equation, and what am I going to do with them? Add them together, okay? Because I already have a negative 16 and a positive 16, I don't have to do anything but just add them together. If they weren't exact, I would have to multiply them and then add them, but since they are, I can just add these together. So, when I add those together, those cancel. 7 and 11 is 3, 4, 4. 4 z equals negative 12, meaning z equals what? Negative 3. Now, I plug this back into one of these two equations here. Okay? I plug the z back into this because I have to get x before I can plug x and z back into an original equation. Okay? So I plug this in, I'm just going to plug it in there, so I have 16x plus 11 times negative 3 equals negative 1. So 16x uh, minus 33 equals negative 1, right? 16x equals negative, or equals positive 32, divide by 16 and x equals 2. Now I take x and z and plug it into an original equation, okay? So when I do that, I'm going to just plug it in right here. I have 2 times 2, I'm plugging it into that middle one, it doesn't matter which one I do, minus 3y plus 5 times negative 3 equals negative 14. Okay, so I get 4 minus 3y minus 15 equals negative 14. So I get negative 3y and negative 11 equals negative 14. And I get negative 3y equals, add 11, you get negative 3. And so you get y equals 1. Now, when I write my answer, I write it x, y, z. So x, y, z. <laughs> you just don't like that, it's gonna take time. Okay, so you're gonna to have to show me a lot of work. Here's the deal. There is a lot of room for error in here. If you do not pay attention to your signs, and if you do not multiply something right or add something right, just so you know, okay? So one little thing is going to throw off your whole answer. So pay very close attention to what you're doing. But do you get the gist of what we're doing? We're eliminating one of the variables first by taking two equations, and we get an equation that just has two variables in it. Then we take one of those same equations and the other equation and eliminate the same variable. Then we get two variables, and then we eliminate another one from there. Then we use substitution to go back to the one with two, and then we use substitution to go back to the original with three. Okay? It takes a lot of time and work. This one's nice. Why is this one nice? Because up top you have an X, a Y, and a Z, and there's no numbers with it. There's only ones. Okay, so let's do this one. Um, what else do I notice about this that makes it nice? 
Okay, but that bottom equation has a what in it? A negative y, and the top one has a positive y, so what do you think I'm gonna eliminate? Y, just make it easy. Mm -hmm. Let's make it easy. So let's go x plus y plus z equals three, and let's do three x minus y plus two z equals five. And when we add these together, we get four x, right? And we get plus three z equals eight, correct? Now, we take that same equation. Um, if we're gonna take the ones with four, and we're gonna say four x plus four y plus four z equals seven. I'm gonna multiply this bottom one by four so that the y's will cancel out, okay? So 12x minus four y plus eight z equals 20. Add those together. And when I add those together, I get 16x. I get 12z. And I get 27. Okay, now, what's the easiest thing to eliminate? The uh, X or the Z next? You think the, okay, you think the Z is? It, it doesn't matter which one. What, what do you want to multiply by? Multiply by negative 4. Okay, so we're going to take this equation and we're going to multiply it by negative 4 which would give me negative 16x, right? Negative 12z, and it would give me negative 27, right? Is four times eight my stuff? No. 28, 20, 32. I'm telling you, I can't think today. Okay, so 32. So then when I add these together, what happens? Cancel, cancel, and I get Wait, zero. It, it is negative 32. And I get zero equals. What the heck? I don't know what is that. I just saw all your colors. Negative 32. And then 27 minus 32 is. Negative 5. Mm -hmm. So I get zero equals negative 5, which means what? No solution. No solution. And I get to stop early. We like those ones because you get to stop early. Okay. Now, another one. What do you want to eliminate? Z's. That's a good call. Let's eliminate Z's. Okay. X plus Y plus Z equals 4. And X plus Y minus Z equals 4. Add these together. You get 2X get 2y, you get 8. Yes? Then we're going to go x plus y minus z equals 4. And then you're going to have 3x plus 3y plus z equals 12. Add these together, you get 4x, you get 4y, you get uh, 16. Uh, what do I do now? Multiply this by negative 2. And you get negative 4, negative 4, and negative 16, which gives you what? 0 equals, which means what? you have to keep going is when there's more than one solution yeah or when there is one solution when there's infinite solutions or when there is no solution you get to stop early okay work problem let's go okay the marketing department of a company has a budget of thirty thousand dollars for advertising 
television ad cost a thousand, and radio costs two hundred, and newspaper costs five hundred. The department wants to run sixty ads per month and have as many radio ads as television and newspaper ads combined. How many of each type of ad should the department run each month? How can I set that up? How many sets of equations do you think you need? Three, good, because there's an X, a Y, and a Z that we're missing, okay? Television, radio, and newspaper. So I need three equations. What would one of the equations be? Set up the easiest one first. Let's think about what would the easiest be? What's the easiest? How many total ads can you run per month? Or do you want to run per month? So what makes up that 60? All of them combined, x plus y plus z equals 60. That's one equation. Okay, what's another type of equation we could set up? It says, you got to read that bottom part with me. It says 60 ads per month and have as many radio ads as television and newspaper ads combined. So your radio ads are going to equal what? Yeah, so radio is Y in this case, right? So Y equals um, X plus Z. So y equals x plus z. So now we have three systems of equations. Hey, look, what do I have when I have y equals x plus z? Substitution. Um, I can sub that in for all the y's, yes? So let's sub it in for that top one and see what we get. Does that make sense? So if I say x plus So that means I get this. I end up getting 2x plus 2z equals 60, yes? Okay, okay. So there's one equation. Now, if I plug in the x plus z for the y in the red equation, okay? Um, 1,000x plus 200. to eliminate your x or your z in this case. You're like the uh, one, of, one of them. Well, what would I have to multiply um, 
1,200, 2 by to get to 1,200. 600. So you want to do that, or do you want to multiply 2 by whatever to get to 700? Which one do you want to do? It doesn't matter to me. Do you want to eliminate your x, or your z? You choose. X. Because it's a bigger number, z. Because the 200, because you have to distribute this 200 times z, which is 200 z, and then you add the 500 to So now we have to multiply. Let's multiply by negative, uh, what did you say, Kaden, 600? Yes, negative 600. So if we multiply this by negative 600, <coughs> bless you, then I get negative 1,200x minus What's 600 times 2? 1,200, right? Yeah. 1,200z equals, and what's 600 times 60? Negative 3,600. Now I add these together. Those cancel. Uh, 700 minus 1,200 gives me negative 500z, and then negative 600, right, or 6,000, and then divide by negative 500, and you get 12. So z equals 12. Now we plug that back in, correct? To the equation with just x and z. It doesn't matter which one. I'm going to plug it into this one because it's much simpler. So I could plug it into this, or I could plug it into this one here. This one's easier numbers. Okay. So I get 2x plus 2 times 12 equals 60. So 2x. Um, plus 24 <coughs> equals 60. So 2x equals, what's 60 minus 24? 36. Divide by 2 and x equals 18. Now, I plug x and z into this equation to figure out what y is, right? So y equals 18 plus 12, which would give you y equals 30. So I would have, these are all of my solutions right here. This, this, and this. And x stands for TVNs, right? So I have 18 TVNs, I have 12 radio ads, and I have 30 newspaper ads. No, I lied. Why is my radio ads? So I have 18 TV ads, radio, newspaper. So you might have to create equations tonight as well. Just so you know. Okay? So three system equations. You can use three different colors if you need to to keep your mind straight on things. So use colored pencils or pens or whatever you want to do tonight. But you are doing substitution and elimination the whole time.